Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from October November 2023 paper theory. In today's lesson, as always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your understanding of practical skills in physics and also you can have better understanding of these exam questions. Let's study together, let's improve together. Total time for this exam is 1 hour and 20 minutes. You need to answer all questions in this paper and total mark for this paper is 50. Question 1 says, a student investigated the metal cube shown in the figure. She measured the length, width and height of the cube. She repeated these measurements in different places on the cube. Her measurements are shown in the table below. For part A, identify a suitable measuring instrument for these measurements. For this one, we need to understand all these measurements, they are given up to 1 pp, means they are given up to 0.1 mm. So this is the main thing you need to understand, means up to 1 dp. Because number of decimal places, they tell us about type of instrument. So let me write on here, number of dp, they are linked with instrument, very important point. You need to understand number of TP that link with instrument. So this is very important point. So here we have one TP. So now we need to find out which instrument can measure up to one TP. 0.1 mm. So first of all, we have the meter rule. So I'll be writing here for your understanding. We have meter rule. Meter rule, the precision of the meter rule is 1 mm. So it means meter rule is not used in this case and the next one we have is vernier caliper vernier caliper vernier caliper the precision of vernier caliper is 0.1 mm so it means we can use vernier caliper and also we need to understand the precision of micrometer micrometer screw gauge screw gauge so micrometer screw gauge with the help of micrometer screw gauge, we can measure up to 0.1 mm. But this is not complete answer. One thing more you need to understand. What is the maximum reading we can take with this one, with meter rule? Maximum reading we can take is up to 1 meter. And the maximum reading we can take with vernier caliper, that is about 15 centimeters or we can say that is up to 150 millimeters and the maximum reading we can take with micrometer screw gauge that is 2.5 centimeters or we can say is 25 mm now the second thing we need to understand this data is smaller than 25 mm and it is up to 1 dp so the best instrument we can use in this case is the best one best instrument you can use is micrometer because micrometer one it has higher precision so it's better to use micrometer so it will reduce the percentage uncertainty so the best instrument is micrometer but if any reading was greater than 25 mm then if any reading was greater than 25 mm then which instrument we can use if greater than 25 mm you cannot use micrometer because micrometer can measure only up to 25 mm so if the measurement is greater than that you cannot use micrometer so then we will be using vernier caliper so vernier caliper then we will be using so if they ask you which one is the best instrument you can use micrometer for this one as a good physicist we will choose micrometer for this and the second one can be second instrument you can use is vernier caliper so like this you need to understand if your concepts are clear like this then this practical paper is just fun and practical skills are very important in physics and most of the students they struggle with practical skills because they just memorize they don't have clear understanding about instrument and they haven't done enough labs so when they see this paper they struggle they don't know how to answer so this paper is very important practical skills in physics very important so the best instrument we can use for this question is 
for this cube is micrometer but if you write on vernier caliper that is also acceptable part b says the student noticed that the uncertainty in the mean width is larger than the uncertainties in the mean length and the mean height suggest why the uncertainty in the mean width is larger so first of all we need to understand how do we calculate uncertainty so uncertainty is simply we can calculate by using half range method half range so it simply means that we will take the maximum measurement means the maximum reading minus we will take the minimum reading and we will divide by two so if you look at this one the maximum is 20.5 so this is 20.5 minus we have the minimum that is 20.0 and this has to be divided by 2 so in this case we will get this is 0.5 divided by 2 so we will get 0.25 but if we ignore this value because this value is totally different than 20.4 20.5 and 20.3 so if we ignore this one we can say this is the anomalous reading then if we calculate the uncertainty that will be smaller so we can calculate uncertainty again so we will get, take maximum reading 20.5 minus minimum 20.3 divided by 2 so in this case we will get this is 0.2 divided by 2 so this is equal to 0 0.2 one so now uncertainty is smaller it means that this reading is anomalous reading so this is anomalous so this is anomalous reading so this is how you need to figure out how we can write down the answer for the answer of this question simply you can write down you can simply say 20.0 measurement is an anomalous reading or you can say the student misread the scale for the 20.0 mm measurement and this is how you can answer this is very important one half range uncertainty is equal to half range part c says determine the percentage uncertainty in the mean length so percentage uncertainty is simply percentage uncertainty you need to understand how to calculate percentage uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty or you can say absolute uncertainty divided by the mean value mean reading multiplied by 100 mean value in this case we already have that is equal to 20.2 so we can write down here this is 20.2 now we need to calculate uncertainty we have already discussed that uncertainty is equal to half range if the data is given if we take more than one readings then we can calculate the half range so in this case we have maximum reading that is 20.3 and the minimum is 20.1 we need to divide by 2 so in this case we will get 0.2 divided by 2 so we will get 0.1 so simply you can write on here this is 0.1 and we need to multiply this one by 100 if we solve this one we will get 0.5 percent so this is the percentage uncertainty so the main concept is this one how to calculate uncertainty and also you need to remember how to calculate percentage uncertainty so these are two important points part d says the student measured the mass of the metal cube as 72.8 grams using a top band balance show that the density of the metal is about 8800 kgs per cubic meter so we need to calculate density in this case so we can start with density density is equal to mass over volume so we can write down this is mass over volume mass in this case we have and our answer has to be in kg so we can convert this one into kgs we can write on 72.8 times 10 to minus 3 kgs and we need to divide by volume so we have the mean value of length we have mean value of width and also we have mean value of height so simply we have to multiply this so we have 
2 we have to convert this one into meters so this is in meters we also need to convert next one into meters so this is also in meters now and the last one we have 20.1 we need to convert this one into meters now simply we need to calculate so the main concept is that you have to use the mean value now if we solve this one in this case our final answer we will get that will be equal to 8834.95 kgs per cubic meter kgs per cubic meter so this is our final answer so we can simplify this one we can write down this is 8835 kgs per cubic meter so this is our final answer but one thing more we need to understand if you look at the given data this data has 3sf this data also has 3sf so 3sf 3sf so the final answer this final answer it can have 3sf or it can has 4sf means one greater than the given data greater than the least number of sf in given data so we can write down our answer in this form we can also write down our answer we can say 8840 kgs per cubic meter so this is how you need to write down your final answer second part says the student is told the cube is made from copper bronze or brass the table shows the densities of these metals she estimates the percentage uncertainty in the value of the density of the cube to be two percent deduce which metal the cube is made from density we have already determined density was equal to 8834.95 kgs per cubic meter so this is the density we have determined and it has 2% percentage difference so we can calculate the upper value of this upper value and we can also calculate the lower value and then we can find out the metal so first of all to calculate upper value we have 2% difference so percentage difference so it means 1.2 times 8834 point nine five if we multiply this one we will get about nine thousand and ten so this is kgs per cubic meter for the lower value we can multiply with 0.98 multiply by with this mean value we have measured value 8834.95 and if we solve this one we will get about 8656 so this value we will get now over lowest value means the lower value is greater than this one it means this metal is not possible and this value is also greater than bronze it means this is also not possible so our answer for this one has to be copper so we can say cube is made from copper so cube is made of copper so this is how we can answer this question so this is one way you can calculate upper value you can calculate lower value and then we can see in that range in that range so in this case copper is in this range it means it is made from copper so this is the range so this is our range so let me draw this arrow in a proper way so this is over range so this is the range as copper is in this range it means this is made of copper so this is how you can figure out alternate way is so let me write down alternate method and this is very powerful tool we use in physics the alternate method we can calculate percentage difference percentage difference i'm just writing this one here for your better understanding percentage difference if percentage difference is lower than percentage uncertainty it means that is acceptable that is acceptable and if percentage difference is 
percentage difference is greater than percentage uncertainty it means not acceptable so i'll explain you a little bit more about this one it's not acceptable so we can calculate percentage difference percentage difference with copper we can calculate percentage difference with this one we can also calculate percentage difference with this to calculate percentage difference so i'll be writing here to calculate percentage difference simply we will take for copper we can calculate 8940 minus we have 8834.95 divided by 8834.95 and we will multiply this one with 100 so we will get value of percentage difference that will be about 1.25 percent in this case as this is lower than percentage uncertainty that is two percent it means this is made of copper you can repeat this one for each metal and which metal has lower percentage difference than percentage uncertainty that metal is acceptable means the cube is made of that metal so you have two different methods to approach this type of problems